samba. Is this someone's hair? You wanna play dirty? Let's play dirty, I got it. Let's go. Hey everybody, I'm Eric Nam, and today I'm playing the expensive taste test with Cosmo. The game is super simple. They're gonna put two items in front of me and I have to guess which one is more expensive. Do I have expensive taste? I have very expensive taste. McDonald's, always a combo, not the dollar menu. We're kicking it off with some hats, some intricate hats. We have a, a Kermit the Frog. I would put it on, but my head's probably too big for it, so we're not gonna attempt that. I like the detail, the little little bump in the back to fully give the impression of a frog. Look, here's my issue. There's like a little piece right here that's just like sticking out. And then I'm, it makes me wonder about the quality. But it also says made in China. And the natural inclination is that this is mass produced. Looks a little cheap. I'm not calling you cheap, I'm just saying this looks cheaper. Now this, if the Quaker oatmeal guy was selling tacos, I imagine this is what he would be wearing. It's a hard shell taco, tomato salsa. I'm gonna say this is romaine lettuce. This is the meat, kind of looks like Bob Ross's hair, and a lot of detail. Look, but this too has, this also has a string. So maybe my hypothesis doesn't hold true. I can tell the effort, the multiple textures and the fabrics, even the yellow, there's a yellow and then there's like a different trim. This is Etsy. I applaud your efforts. This is, has to be more expensive. <laughs> what? No way. Well, then you got ripped off. You wanna play dirty? Let's play dirty. I got it. Let's go. Is this a non blanket or like a tortilla blanket? Wow. I feel like I'm doing home shopping network or something. It's pretty warm. We must mention that it is white on the inside. Various colors of beige and burnt brown here. I don't know how much this is, I have no idea. And it comes with an eye mask. This is, is this an avocado? Where the hell do you find these things? This is an avocado blanket and it's in the shape of a massive avocado. Honestly, I have trust issues from that last one. So I'm very, very hesitant to make an answer. How do you play this game? That's uh, similar, even like the thickness. You're gonna expect me to say this one because it has two pieces, right? But what you don't know is it's just leftover fabric that they just put onto something. The color printing is always more expensive. The more colors, the more expensive it is. Also, this is more versatile. There's a, a oblong shape, so you could use it for a rug. You could use it as a table cover. I have no idea. I'm just gonna say the avocado because I like avocados better than tortillas. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Avocados are pretty pricey. Who's paying $32 for an avocado blanket? Nothing wrong if you do, if, you're, if you are. I'm just, for what purpose? Is it really that you love avocados? Is it a prank? Or you just really like the design? I don't know, do your thing. Alrighty. This is a cat, and this is a, a seal. This has beads for eyes and a felt button nose, ears with extra thing of pink in it. A big flappy tail. Our good friend here, it's a spotted seal. He was made in China. He has two feet, a tail. He has hands too. Ooh, this is hard. Maybe we test it by comfort. See, this is deceptively, it's a lot, but it, it sinks really fast. This is firmer stuffing. All right, I've made my decision. I think cat's more expensive. God! Y'all are some rich ass people paying $60 for a spotted seal. I would rather just take that avocado blanket, stuff it, sew it together and use that and still save money. I know nothing about wigs. First of all, blind test. Feels exactly the same. Let's look at the inside. Let's look at the lining. You look great. Okay, I don't even know what I'm looking for, but it has multicolored things inside, pins, and it has a veil, so if you wanna, no, that's not part of it. Same exact thing. Let's go by weight. This is heavier. This looks like a jellyfish. This looks like 
I have no idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this real human hair? There's like multiple colors in here. It looks like somebody's hair if it was dyed. Is this someone's hair? <laughs> Whereas this is from a Pokemon. For that reason, this is more expensive. Get out of here, get out of here. This is so much nicer, guys. You can tell just by looking at it that this is a proper wig. And I don't know what happens to the other one. I don't think I've ever seen these in my life. We're gonna listen to the quality of the sound. Okay, you heard it here. Whoa, what the f That's beautiful. This is how I make a song, guys. This is how I wrote my entire album, There I'm Back Again, in stores now. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care if this is more expensive. This sounds better. It's also heavier and it's shinier. So I'm gonna go with this one. Thank God. Oh. We got agua, water, mur, shui. Those are all the languages in which I know how to say water. Now, let's look at this. It's clear. It's liquidy, it's wet, or is it? This one has bubbles, this one doesn't as much. Taste test, here we go. Tastes like paper straws. Also tastes like paper straws. So we're gonna try it straight out of the glass. I will also say, this is more saturated with water than this one. Why? Tastes like water also tastes like water. Sounds like liquid. I can clearly see that this is more expensive. Can you not? I'm a genius. And the hair from the last wig is still here. This is a dark blue glass. Oh, I just saw the bottoms and the bottoms kind of give it away for me. I can tell what these are just by looking at the bottoms. Let's smell it first. Whew. All right. This is like a leathery, woody. I think they call it oud oud, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce these things because they always make it like oud de parfumé or something. And I'm just like, just call it cologne. It's like reminiscent of Abercrombie and Fitch when they used to take over the entire mall with their scents. This one I can tell is by the font. And looking closely, it says This one could just be an imitation from like the gas station or when you go to a club and there's like somebody in there who's like, do you want any of the 50 colognes? And you're like, no, I'm good. Like, do you want peppermint? I'm like, no, I'm fine, thank you. I'm gonna say this one's more expensive. Yes. Now we have two types of cream cheese that you can also put on your face. Let's smell it first. Well, it doesn't smell like cologne, but this, this one felt, smells French. It smells like a milky French thing. This one smells like, it's like a nutty something. All right, let's look at the consistency. It's a nice little slide we got going there. A little gliding motion. This one, it's thicker. It's like, it's like pasty. This one. <laughs> See, okay, this is my issue here. What's like, wh wh why is it not going into my skin? It doesn't actually like get into my skin. And just for that simple reason, I'm gonna say this one's more expensive. I knew it. So the wonderful minds at Cosmopolitan the brilliant minds have tasked me with exploding these confetti cannons with greasy hands. It doesn't actually like get into my skin. I'm so sorry. Slippery hands. I just. Ba -da -ba -la -la -ba -ba. Container may explode if heated. Store in a well ventilated place. 
Well, good thing we're gonna explode this in a tiny little studio room somewhere. Can I explode these? One, two. It's so slippery. My hands are too slippery. Oh my god! That's so loud. Holy crap. Ow. That scared the shit out of me. That scared the shit out of me. Protect my ears. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Keep slipping. First of all, I'm really sorry to whoever has to clean this up. This is not my idea. This is a uh, glitterly, glitterly paper. This is rice paper. Yeah, it's rice paper. And for that reason, I'm gonna say this one, the black one is more expensive just because it seems more sustainable. Whether it is or not, I don't know. This one, not so sustainable. And for that reason, I think this one's more expensive. Yes. Whew. Everybody outside is worried. They thought something happened in here. We're fine. My ears are ringing. There is residue on the ceiling. Not my idea. I got six right. Six out of, dang, that's a 60, that's still failing, dude. I have a brand new album out, it's called There and Back Again, and a new single called Lost On Me. And it is an album full of bangers, so I hope you guys check it out. I'm also on tour, I'm doing 51 Cities, and you can get the music, you can get the socials, and the tickets all at ericnom.com. Oh, that was wrong way. Music.